Hi, this is Eric for Ojoy. In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up a batch render using Octane for Maya. And for this video, I'm using the Space Cantina underscore interior 05.ma scene. And this is a batch render of the scene with a camera that's just doing a simple pass through and a little bit of animation on our robot bartender here. The process for setting up a batch render using Octane for Maya is pretty straightforward and very similar to rendering with any other engine in Maya. So let's close FCheck here and open up the render settings. So go to Windows, Rendering Editors, Render Settings, or Render Globals. And the first thing we want to do is go to the Common tab, double check that we have everything set up the way that we want. Let's choose our image format, whatever you prefer to do. So let's say TIFF or something like that. Uh, make sure that you've set up your frame animation extension correctly. So name, number, extension, just like you would do for any other Maya scene. And of course, you want to set up your frame range, your camera, the camera that you want to render the scene with, and of course, the image size. Let's take a look in the Octane Render tab. Now, most of these settings are explained in some of the other videos throughout this course. The ones that are most important relate to batch rendering. Of course, you want to make sure that you've got your render settings set up correctly. For instance, the kernel that you want to render with, imager, post-processor, environment, etc. Uh, we'll talk about motion blur in another video, but here are the settings right here. Likewise, we'll talk about network rendering in another video. Some of the more important settings down here, uh, you might want to turn on verbose mode so that while it's rendering, you can see the readout in the script editor. Out-of-course settings are there in case your scene is using more textures than your GPU can handle. If you enable this, then some of the textures will be stored on your CPU, which allows you to render larger scenes with larger textures. However, it may slow down rendering a little bit. In previous versions of Maya, you had to specify the geometry type for each piece of geometry in the scene. This would let Octane know if the object was going to be global, in other words, something that doesn't move or is not deformed, scattered, like an instance, a movable proxy, something that's transformed or animated, or a reshapable proxy, something that's deformed. The good news is that you don't need to do that anymore in this most recent version of Octane for Maya. Instead, if you select a piece of geometry and go to its uh, shape node in the attribute editor, you have animator data. So if something is not rendering correctly that is animated, you can specify whether it should be automatically loaded or to force load the animator data. Most of the time you can leave this alone though. Once you have everything set up correctly, just like with any other renderer in Maya, you can go to the rendering menu set and choose render batch render. And based on how your project is set up, if you use the default settings, then the images will render directly to the images directory of your Maya project, unless of course you specified otherwise. 